Mm. Good lordy, good lordy. This joint right here, um, I got this in New York City. One of the first times I went to New York City, I picked this joint up uh, at Beat Street Records for $8.99. <laughs> um, this is an, an insane classic. I was probably like 17 years old, so 97. I was a senior in high school, made my way down to New York City. Um, anyway, Shook Ones Part 2, Mob Deep, all right? Mob Deep is comprised of Prodigy, uh, Rest in Peace, the motherfucker. This dude, you know, a, a, a real dope MC, you know, a dude who did some real dirt. Um, motherfucker ended up in the hospital, and I believe he choked on a hard-boiled egg in the hospital and suffocated. Fucking bullshit. Um, anyways, Prodigy, the MC, and then the other MC slash producer is Havoc. Hav is like one of the most underrated, under-talked about um, beat makers. You know, just doesn't get the props that, that he, he deserves. But, you know, um, yeah, this is Mob Deep, um, the infamous. This is a crazy, 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 crazy fucking incredible record. Uh, their first record together was called Juvenile Hell, not quite received at, uh, so well, and I can't remember the, the, the name uh, of their group before they were Mob Deep, but um, basically, you know, kind of how they, they got their, their jump. This is also on Loud Records, the same that put out Wu-Tang Enter the 36, but um, Q-Tip discovered them, basically, um, you know, and he kind of like, you know, helped them, you know, so Q is, helps them with some of the production on this, and he's on a song um, you know, which is one, one of my, one of my favorite joints on this where, um, where they're, they're rhyming. I mean, this got like the fucking cuts, you know, give up the goods, temperatures rising, up north trip, uh, trife life, cradle to the grave, shook ones part two. I mean, pff, eye for an eye. I mean, it's just so good. But the, 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 the cut I was going to say that, that Q-tips on is called drink away the pain where they rhyme like the different types of alcohol. Um, real killer shit. Um, but yeah, Q-Tip, you know, from Tribe Called Quest had, had his hands all over this, all over this joint. Um, but like, Shook One's part two, again, this is another um, song you hear a lot in uh, the, the Eight Mile uh, uh, film or whatever, but like, the lyrics in this, you know, Prod is like pretty much rapping about, you know, territory and turf, uh, specifically on Shook One's part two in some ways, you know, um, you know, but a lot of this is about, you know, your area, your location. Um, but this this album is like you know, really gritty, crunchy ass beats, um, you know, piano loops that are haunting. I mean, just really ghoulish kind of eerie, you know, piano loops, um, the use of synthesizers as well, and really lo-fi bass lines, filtered bass lines on, the, on this stuff. So um, just kind of really dark, you know, really dark uh, stuff, you know, whereas, you know, you have like G-Funk and Gangsta Rap where the, you know, especially G-Funk where the, you know, they have gangster themes um, in the rhymes, but the beats are real happy. <laughs> feeling a really party feeling, you know, with that, that barbecue vibe. Well, you know, it's New York City and it's fucking 15 degrees in January, you know? Um, and remember, like, again, New York City, it, it, it didn't get, you know, real uh, gentrified and cleaned up and all that shit um, it, until, like, the early 2000s, late 90s, 2000s, you know, I mean, it was a process, you know, but, uh, New, New York was, um, a lot of the areas outside of Manhattan, you know, they, they were, they were, they were pretty grimy, um, you know, through most of the, most of the 90s, so, um, anyways, Killer drums on this that you hear uh, at the beginning. It's from this uh, the Daily Wilson big band. I just want to bring this up. It's called Dirty Feet. 
Um, you know, yeah, look at these goobers on this, but there's a fucking dope ass uh, drum break on this. It's very classic. And then, like, I'm just trying to say that like, your drums can come from like so so many different different sources, you know, and um, and so like people really start, you know, by '95 it really beat mind the shit. But like this is like a very important record from from 1995. So. Uh, let's check out the music video from this, and then we'll we'll, we'll talk about some some lines from uh, 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 Shook One's part two.